Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to do a video here on my truck build out, my Tacoma build out. I've had a lot of people ask questions about what I'm running for suspension, tires, uh, what's on my roof rack and all that stuff. So I figured I'd do a quick video just to show you guys what I've done to the truck. I'll link everything that I can down in the description below. So if you guys want to do this to your truck, you can. So this is my 2015 Toyota Tacoma. It's a TRD Sport long bed uh, four door. First thing I've done is I added the grill craft and it's basically just an insert so you have to cut out the stock grill with like a Dremel tool, put that one in there, screw it in. I used that on my old truck. I had a 20, 2011 did the same thing too. I love that grill and yeah, I had zero problems with it and it looks pretty cool. The TRD skid plate right here doesn't really do much. It's pretty thin aluminum but it looks kind of cool. I guess it might do a little protection if you hit something small. I did put a recovery hitch on the front here, um, just in case I need to get towed out from the front. Um, I bought that from a guy that, that makes those. I'll see if I can link that down in the description below. These are the stock fog lights here, and because my favorite color is orange, I did the I did the orange Laminex film on this. It's just a film you put right over, stick on there. It's been on there since I've owned the truck and have had zero issues with them. They look pretty cool. It, it just gives a couple, you know, more orange accents to the truck. I painted the emblems here, the badges, black with Plasti Dip. I don't really recommend using Plasti Dip a lot of the times, especially on the front of the vehicle because it chips off. But I did about 10 to 13 coats of Plasti Dip on these things. And that was back in 2015. It's now 2021 and I've had zero issues with it coming off or anything. And it looks, it looks sick. It, uh, took away the shine. It's a nice matte finish. Really like that. It's been durable and uh, I would definitely do that again. Um, I also put these, I don't really know what they're called, sun visor thingy, but uh, it just allows you to kind of crack your window down a little bit and not get rain and water in there uh, when you're driving. Um, I kind of like, I kind of like having that in there. The wheels are XD revolvers. Um, and the tires are BF Goodrich All Terrains, 265, 70, 17. Uh, I probably would have gone a little bit wider. Would have got 285s, I think, next time because this is a pretty wide rim. It's like a nine or nine and a half inch wide rim. It doesn't really fit the rim all that well, but these tires are awesome. They've got just enough tread to do a little bit of light off-roading. Highway noise is minimal. Tread wear is is really good. You can get a lot of miles out of these things. I've run them on a couple other vehicles in the past and they're awesome and these wheels have been pretty much bomb proof I rolled my other truck over with these wheels on there and took them off and put them on here they've stood the test of time and definitely would recommend checking out XD um, KMC wheels I didn't really do much for, for suspension on this my previous truck I did the Bilstein lift the adjustable lift so um, and I didn't find that the ride quality was all that great. So with this one, all I did was a Rough Country spacer on the top. I'll link that down in the description below. It's pretty cheap. It's only like 50 bucks as opposed to like 2,500 bucks for the 1500, the Bilstein 1500s that we had before. And it actually rides better because you get the stock shock. Obviously, if you're doing a lot of off-roading, this isn't going to be what you're going to want to use. But it gives it a little bit extra height, a little bit extra clearance. And... Uh, I like it a lot because it's this is my daily driver. For the rear suspension, I did the Tacoma, the Add a Leaf from Toy Tech, and it's just an extra leaf spring. And then we did the Eibach shocks. I used to have 5100s on the rear as well. I blew those out. I just don't like those shocks for some reason. So I went with these uh, Eibach, I think that's how you call them, or Epoch. I've had no problems with those. They seem to work a lot better and the ride's pretty good. So the lift on the front is a inch and a half rough country spacer. It just goes above your uh, coilover. And then the rear add a leaf is another inch and a half. So it's, it's around an inch, inch and a half lift that I got out of all this. And it's just enough to give me a little extra clearance for the more offset wheels and bigger tires. For the mud flaps, uh, I put on kind of some special mud flaps. This generation of Tacoma, they had these mud flaps that they were like, three or four inches off the ground, ridiculously long. You couldn't do any amount of off-roading with them. You'd rip them off. They're super expensive. So I got these rock blocks, um, mud flaps. I like them a lot. I got them mostly because of the way they mount on the front because my the previous tires that I had, I had Duratrax on here. They were a lot bigger and I had some clearance issues. I had to do a little bit of trimming and grinding. The way that they're mounted, 
Um, there's a lot of clearance on the inside here. You're not adding any thickness by putting another piece of plastic in there. They kind of mount on the side. And because of the offset of these wheels, it really helps with controlling how much mud and uh, crap gets thrown up on the side of my truck because they they stick out a little way. So I really like those a lot. For the inside, the only thing I've done is the window tint. So all the way around, I've done 35% window tint. The back came tinted anyways, but I tinted over at 35%. So it's pretty much blacked out. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's a pretty good tint there on the front that had no tint over it. Um, I also did some custom painting on the trim pieces in here. I also have WeatherTech floor mats in here. They're pretty dirty right now, but these things are great, especially if you're you know, an avid outdoorsman, you're in the mud, in the water, wearing your waders in and out of the truck. It just kind of keeps all the dirt and mud contained. Uh, the roof rack that I have on the front of the cab is the Prinsu roof rack. Um, I mostly bought it before I put the cap on the back so I could mount my rod case, but I don't really need it anymore, but I think it looks kind of cool. And if I ever need to mount anything up on there, I've got it. It's strong enough to put a rooftop tent on there. So if you ever wanted to do that, and if I ever get, you know, long pieces of lumber or something, I can lay them across the whole rack or a canoe or something and toss it up there. The rear rack that's on my cap. I have a whole video of me building this cap. I'll link it down in the description below and also pop it up here. Um, so you can come back and watch that. And these are just some cheap Amazon roof racks by uh, Vantech. And these things have been awesome. I mount my rod case and my 270 degree awning to these and they're super strong. The cap, like I said, we have a whole video on me getting this cap and building it out. When I got it, it was a Speedway blue color that Tacoma used to make. So it completely did not match at all this truck. We painted it with Raptor liner redid the screening, put the roof rack on, cleaned it up, um, and it now looks like this. It looks sick. It matches the truck really well with the black. So super happy with that. I had these decals made here from someone off Tacoma World. It's kind of a custom decal that we had done. Cool little addition. The rod case up here is made by Ultimate Rod Case. This thing is completely bomb proof. Probably one of the most rugged rod cases that you can get for a rooftop rod carrier. The thing is bomb proof. It's completely made out of aluminum. I don't know, you could walk on that thing and wouldn't have any problem. Um, it holds four rods, but they can pretty much customize anything that you need. This is the hybrid rack, and I wanted the hybrid rack because it allows you to put a spinning rod with a longer handle in it. The fly rod case is a little bit shorter in the rear section of it, but we do a lot of spin fishing, so I needed to be able to put my spinning rod in there. So we just unlock that, flip it up, and you can see we got some rods in there. This is the 11 foot model. You can get them as long as you want, as short as you want. Um, yeah, I, I love this thing. It's one of my favorite parts of the truck. This is a new addition to the truck, which I'm super glad I got because I used this on my trip to New York the other day when it was raining. This is the OVS, Overland Vehicle Systems 270 awning. So it's the, the smaller one that they make. Um, so it's, the price point is pretty good and it does a really good job of keeping you dry. I'll show you guys how it kind of comes out here. Flip up your cover here. This is your strap to tie it down with on the other side. So undo the Velcro straps and unfold everything. All you gotta do is walk all the way around the truck here. Folds out all the way around. Like that. We take our strap over here, hook it off on something. And then we have a nice canopy under here to stay dry while we're cooking or just camping out. Best thing about this is that when I open up my truck and we're gonna do some cooking and it's either really sunny out or raining or whatever, it covers up my slide out that I made right to the grill so we can flip the grill open and stay dry while we're cooking. I have a whole video of building this slide out. I'll link that down in the description below as well and post it up here in the corner, but I'll link these drawer slides. These are the heavy duty locking five foot drawer slides. Um, so this is a five foot drawer with another couple feet here with a cutting board prep surface on the end. And it's 
obviously massive as you can see. People have questioned about the weight sticking out of the back here, but I have this thing anchored up in the truck. It's not going anywhere, super rugged. And uh, it's got everything I need in here. It's got my grill, some utensils, propane, uh, yeah, pots and pans. It's got just enough for a night or two overnight. And push this back in, it locks. So it's really easy slide in and out. We got a light that we mounted in here so you can see at night. We've got a nice memory foam mattress in here. Um, I built these things to go over the windows out of Reflectix. It works really good just to keep the morning sun out of your face because you're sleeping right at the window level and it also gives you some privacy. Um, we built like a little subfloor in here to mount this to so uh, in the winter when I wanted to go ice fishing all I have to do is unscrew four bolts and the whole bed comes right out and then we can use this and I just put a carpet in here so it's a little more comfortable and it works awesome super super impressed with it I wish I had a couple extra feet because this is a six foot bed and I'm six foot two so it's a little cramped in there but hey it works for it works for an overnight or two so if you guys want, I can go over and make a video of what I bring truck camping with me as far as all the gear, uh, what I use to stay warm and stuff in the colder months and you can just go over this more in depth. I, this is just kind of a quick overview of my truck build out. I think I pretty much covered it guys. So if there's anything you think I missed or any questions that you guys have, leave them down in the comments below. I read all the comments. I'll happy to, be happy to answer them for you. And if there's anything you'd like to see done to this truck, leave it down in the comments below because we might do it. So if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.